Uh, first of all, good to see you back fit and raring to go again. Uh, had a couple of games now after breaking the foot. How frustrating was it to break the foot in pre-season? Yeah, well, you, you work hard like the four weeks of pre-season, you have a week off and then you're, you're ready to go for the rugby side of it and then to uh, to break your foot for sort of first proper pre-season game is, is frustrating. I think I was only on for 15 minutes and then uh, and then had to have a seven week break. So it's, it's not nice, but it's, uh, it's what happens these days in rugby. And that whippersnapper, Sam Simmons, comes in and scores all the tries and gets all the headlines. Yeah, he's not bad, is he? He's, uh, <laughs> he's definitely uh, on fire, and, uh, and that, but that's what you want. You want guys stepping up, and but you could always tell uh, during pre-season and last year, uh, he's, a, he's a good fine player, and uh, he's got a big, a big future. Obviously, you know, you, you know, he's the, the youth, and you're more of the experience there. Do you, do you two get on? I mean, obviously, you know, play similar positions or what have you. Yeah, not too bad. I'm teaching him a few things about food and stuff and things you can and can't get away with um, <laughs> sometimes. But uh, yeah, no, that's the thing. Uh, he's a good young boy and he, he wants yeah. to learn. And, and that's the thing, he, he likes rugby and he wants to get out there and play. And, that, and that's, that's what you want. Uh, and that's the thing, he's, he's doing a great job. But from your point of view, does that kind of give you a bit more, you know, oomph when you're going into training? There's somebody who wants to learn off you and that you can kind of teach? Uh, yeah, then, and that's the thing, and then it's about competition as well. Uh, we're all fighting to, to get out there on the field, and, and, and that's what brings the best out of you. And when you know that uh, people after, after your position, uh, it brings out the best of you, and, and that's what we want at training uh, week in, week out. And I think that's the thing, we're getting rewards at the moment, and we sort of have to keep that going the whole season. Fingers crossed, we don't get many injuries, and we can all push each other. You've, you've obviously made your, your start this season in the Champions Cup in the first two games. Assess what you feel has gone so well for Exeter and why it's gone so well against Glasgow and away in Montpellier. I think we're just being ourselves, uh, not putting too much pressure on ourselves and knowing the detail that we have to go through week in, week out and uh, making sure we go out and put out on the field. And I think that's the biggest thing and being ourselves and working hard uh, and, and just putting all the, all the sort of blocks in the right place and, uh, and going out there and performing. I thought we've done that well and, and it's always nice to have the next two games in your own hands and and know where you want to go and I think that's probably the biggest thing we've sort of had to rely on our results but now it's in our own hands and uh, we can take the pull how we t how front on really. Yeah I mean you know you look at the exercise side and they're doing so well in Europe doing so well in the league and you know the England squad will be announced shortly do you think that a few more of those lads should be following in the footsteps of people like yourself who've played for England and, and, and be getting a call up do you think? Yeah definitely but that's I tell most people you, you've got to perform for your club and uh, that's what that's what everyone's doing at the moment with uh, Don, uh, Samo, uh, Harry, uh, Henry, uh, a lot of the boys are standing up for Franny, uh, for Wales and a lot of those guys are, are playing well for your club and that's, that's the best thing you can do is put your best foot forward for your club and uh, other people will see um, and th then at the end of the day it's up to one person's decision if they want to pick you or not but all you can do is play well for your club and uh, put your hand up and uh, try to get selected. Let's look ahead to Sale. Um, are you excited about the prospect? Where do you, what, what do you think, they, if you're in the team, are they going to be gunning for you to try and stop you? What, do you, what have you looked at tactically ahead of this game? Yeah, it's a short turnaround for us, so we sort of had to go up there. We've done our analysis and we sort of know what we're doing, but then at the end of the day we need to go up there and, and be ourselves as well. Um, we're the thing, we know that out wide they're dangerous, they've got some dangerous runners out wide mm. and uh, by looking at them, they're not putting too many numbers, and they're going to come off the line and try to stop our stop our runners. So we have to be smart and uh, and what, what we're doing, but hopefully go up there and get a good result. Yeah, it's, it's, sale, results of sale don't always come very easily for the Chiefs, do they? And um, it, what would it mean if you could come away with four or five points? Oh, that would be massive. I think that's the thing. You go on the road and pick up four points is always is always what you're aiming for. And um, but I find I find us Chiefs we, we travel quite well. Um, we sort of get behind each other, enjoy our time, and then it shows when we go out there on away trips and stuff like that. So we have to go up there. We've got to be a bit of confident from, take confidence from going over to France and getting a good win. And then, because we know we can sort of win on the road, so we have to go up there confident, but uh, make sure we put our game on. A fine weekend off. What are you going to be doing? Uh, uh, oh, kids rugby probably on Sunday. Um, hope we find another nice cream tea somewhere and uh, enjoy myself. Mm -hmm.